Giga Berlin's first release. New Model Y 4680 battery. After the successful launch of Elon Musk's latest Tesla factory in Berlin, they have shaken the industry by the launch of their latest Model Y because of the new 4680 battery. So what's the hype all about? Why are Tesla fans going crazy over it? And how remarkable is it? To know more, make sure to watch the video till the end. Welcome to Elon Musk newest. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech magnate Elon Musk and his wild endeavors. That being said, let's begin. Tesla has become a household name today. It is not just because of the quality of the cars they are offering in the market, but also due to our all-time favorite billionaire Elon Musk, who is not only leading the company in a unique way, but at the same time showcasing some moves at launch events as well. I'm sure you too had enjoyed Elon's moves during the launch of Tesla's latest gigafactory in Berlin, which is also the first Tesla plant in Europe. According to some reports, when the first phase of the plant is at its full capacity, this plant will be able to produce approximately half a million vehicles annually. But what is more important is the technology that their vehicles pack in. And to be very honest, we all have a huge respect for Tesla because of revolutionary technology that they are able to calculate in their vehicles. So what is the revolutionary technology that the new Model Y's manufactured in Giga Berlin will have? Apart from all the other stuff, the technology that is capturing the headlines is the in-house production of 4680 batteries. According to some sources, it is clear that Giga Berlin will be producing the 4680 batteries and will be available in the latest Model Y later this year. Tesla has been planning for the in-house production of the batteries for quite long now, and this is because in-house production of batteries will make them self-sufficient. This will enable them to better calibrate their vehicles and provide better efficiency and performance at the same time. And they have already carried out the pilot runs of the same in their pilot line at a facility on Carto Road. That is close to Vermont, California factory. In this pilot line, they were producing 4680 batteries with a production capacity of 10 gigawatt hour per year. And that, according to me, considering all the factors and that it is just a pilot line is just phenomenal. What do you think about it? Were you expecting better or was it way beyond your expectations? Do let me know in the comments below. I would love to read your comments and opinions on this. But did you know that before starting their in-house production of batteries, who was providing Tesla to ride the dream of EVs? Let me give you a hint. You must have used different appliances from this company. You might be watching this video on their TV or might be using some other appliances of this brand in your daily routine. Yeah, you guessed it right, it's Panasonic, a very popular brand from Japan and the main battery supplier of Tesla. Panasonic was providing 1865 and 2170 battery cells for the earlier models that have been around for a while now. Although the initial Model Ys might be having the older batteries, but Tesla has already taken the step in the right direction and moving forward, we will be witnessing the latest Model Ys and the Cybertruck with the 4680 batteries. But a question might still be bothering your mind, what these 4680 batteries are and what it actually means for the end consumer. Well, guys, let me explain it all for you. First, let's understand what this 4680 actually means. As you can understand from the name itself, it actually refers to the size of the battery. These are 46mm in diameter and have a height of 80mm. 4680 batteries are tabless in nature and are cylindrical battery cells that pack in multiple benefits from performance to manufacturing and other cost-related benefits to the end consumer. These 4680 batteries contain more battery material in the casings. This makes five times better at storing the energy and improves the power of the batteries by up to six times. Apart from all of this, you will be surprised to know that just because of the change in the form of the battery, the efficiency has also increased multiple folds. Considering the range of these batteries, it showed 16 times better range than the earlier ones. These batteries have shown better performance on all fronts and are more efficient as well. At the same time, tabless architecture of the latest 4680 batteries have the potential to significantly improve manufacturability as well. First things first, the tabless design of the batteries simply eliminates the need of a tab, thus eliminating one of the major needs of the batteries used earlier. This completely removes the need of adding tabs, which was done by pausing the production for a while. This was like a speed breaker on the road, which not only slowed down the production of the batteries, but also made it prone to manufacturing defects as it humps along, rolling up and spitting out the massive batteries, thus killing two birds with just a single stone. The other thing that makes it the best in the market is the material that they are using for preparing the batteries. Because the new 4680 batteries are not only different in their size, but also the internal chemistry is very different than that of its predecessors. 
so Tesla this time is using silicon at the core of their batteries. But let me tell you that silicon is a very challenging element to handle. It is because of its physical properties that makes the large-scale production procedures a bit exigent. The thing is that silicon can expand up to four times when it is charged with lithium, and this is something Tesla has coped up with. Apart from this, another benefit of using silicon is its low cost. As you may know, after oxygen, silicon is the most abundant element on Earth's crust, and thus it reduces the costs by a huge margin, and at the same time, it is easy to acquire commodities. Just for your information, the sand that we usually come across is silicon dioxide, and using the silicon is the reason why they are able to cut their costs by almost 5% for the batteries, and along with that, it also improves the efficiency of the batteries by roughly 20%. And that might be a major reason why Elon was too excited at the launch of the new Gigafactory at Berlin, and started to show his terrible dance moves at the event itself. You can love the technology of Elon, his grit and persistence, but you could not like his dance moves though. At least, I'm not into it. But on a serious note, by revolutionizing the battery game, Elon has created a new chapter in the history of battery cells at Tesla. And I believe many other manufacturers that are operating in the EV segment, or would like to enter this segment, need to rethink their strategies to level up their game and give a tough competition to Tesla. So are you getting the point that I'm trying to make here? Don't you? Well guys, from all the news and information that has surfaced recently, we can clearly say that Tesla is playing the game on another level. They are simply advancing themselves on a daily basis, and this might be driving their competitors crazy. I can feel for the engineers working at major players of the industry that cater to the market Musk's Tesla is trying to capture. What they did in the United States, they would love to do the same in Germany and in the entire Europe, if not better, to say the least. But I believe this will be really good for the end consumer. Don't you think so? Because in my opinion, this will create a very competitive market for the consumers where they can get better value for the bucks they will be spending. And this is healthy competition, as it will benefit all the stakeholders involved. Consumers will get better value for the money they are spending. The vehicle manufacturers will be constantly upgrading and recreating their products in more efficient ways. Along with that, this constant effort to stay in the market will push the manufacturers to innovate more often, thereby directly aiding in the growth of technology. And I believe we all stand united for that. So that's all from my side guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video as well, and do share your opinions in the comments on where Tesla might be heading next, what other milestones they might achieve in the coming future. I will be reading all your comments for sure. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel for more. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace.